Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and I'd like to wish you a happy new year. Happy 2018. May 2018 be a year in which you discover more of God, more of his love, more of his power, more of his peace, more of his joy, and more of his hope. And it's that latter issue of hope that I want to talk about today. Um, across the UK, there's a national initiative this year called Hope 18. We're seeking to uh, engage churches and mobilise uh, ourselves into sharing the hope that we have with those around us. And we live in a society in which there seems to be quite a sort of attitude of hopelessness kind of floating around, a, a frustration, a, a kind of disenchantment, a, a disappointment, a, a despair that is kind of floating around like a cloud. And, and in that context, I think the hope that we have will shine all the more brightly and we should um, make efforts uh, not only to share it with others, but also to rediscover it ourselves and realise what a precious resource and treasure it is. Um, I've been reading a, a wonderful a couple of verses at the beginning of 1 Peter recently, which I keep coming back to. And looking at and uh, they say this uh, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who through um, his great mercy has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is undying and untaintable and unfading and it has been kept in heaven for us I love these words they're kind of an echo of Jesus's teaching there which Peter will have remembered and have sat under um, where he talks about storing up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. And here Peter is echoing that sentiment when talking about this hope that we have, an inheritance in heaven that is uh, kept for us, is safeguarded for us by God and which is undying, untaintable and unfading. I, I love that, that little cascade of words there as, as Peter describes what a precious treasure this is that we have. And it's not just something out there, um, something, an alabaster kind of reality on a plinth somewhere that we look at from afar. It's actually an organic reality, a living hope that uh, trickles into our daily lives and affects everything that we do. All the decisions that we make, our outlook, uh, our, kind of our temperament should be affected by this hope. We know that if somebody has hope, they live differently than if they were hopeless. Um, somebody who has hope makes positive decisions and, and lives in constructive and hopeful ways, whereas those who don't have hope um, often spiral down into the dark. And, uh, and hope is a, a valuable thing, even in a worldly sense, but how much more we have this living hope that is founded and grounded in the reality of Jesus' resurrection from the dead, and which is our inheritance in him. And so I want to ask you the question uh, as we move into this new year, in what areas of your life do you feel most hopeless, most desolate, most despairing? And how might you make space this week just to uh, clear some ground in that area, in that context, and allow God to birth new hope in you, to let hope spring up this spring?